Joining me is Senator Ron Johnson, great friend, Senator Johnson. It's wonderful to see you, sir. Um, can you rejoice? I, this isn't what I want to talk to you about, but can you rejoice with me that the Italians took away Putin's yacht? Yeah, absolutely. You <laughs> see a smile on my face. That's, uh, that's good news. Yes, sir. Uh, somebody had the gumption on. I, I, we may have been coordinating with it. I don't know. Now, um, Senator Biden on. Senator Biden, Senator Johnson, on equally important matters, if not more so, I, I want to go and, and talk about protesting uh, Roe v. Wade and um, protesting in front of the Supreme Court justices' homes, which is going on this weekend. Also, uh, pro-life, apparently a Molotov cocktail firebombed a uh, pro-life center in Wisconsin. And I guess... My biggest problem among all these things, I mean, it's bad enough that this is going on, but I haven't heard one word of support, one word of protection, one word from Biden or the Biden administration that he would provide uh, additional safety and security for these justices who are, after all, doing their job. Not a single word. I'm ashamed of President Biden. I wonder what your thought is on this, sir. Yeah, I haven't heard too many condemnations from the left. I haven't heard any condemnations from the left on the, the firebombing of the uh, pro-life group in, in Wisconsin. And, of course, the illegal, and we need to underline that fact, it's the illegal protest, the illegal intimidation of Supreme Court justices. This is reprehensible. Uh, but we all have to remember, Larry, it's, it's the left, it's the pro-choice left that are the radicals in this abortion debate. Uh, they are the ones that have the extreme position of wanting to abort a child up to the moment of birth. Uh, Roe versus Wade delayed a discussion of this in the body politic from the American people to determine at what point do we protect life. That discussion, that debate was delayed for 50 years. Now we're going to have it. And all I can see out of pro-life groups is a lot of care, a lot of compassion for Mothers that with unplanned pregnancies trying to take care of them, adoption services. You know, there's nothing but compassion from the pro-life groups, and you have illegal protests and violence from the extreme uh, left-wing pro-choice groups. I think, I think that speaks volumes. Well, I just want to come back to your... I mean, look, my view is, uh, I hope, well-known. I'm a strong supporter uh, of the unborn. And, you know, I say save America, save America's children. But I want to go back to your other point, Senator Johnson. You were the uh, chair of the Homeland Security Committee, so you know a lot about this, I would reckon. Um, when Saki, when Madam Saki says, you know, it's okay, uh, we believe in free speech, we believe in peaceful protest, you're saying, actually, if you protest or picket the Supreme Court justices' homes, that is illegal, in which case it is not okay what she is saying. They're encouraging uh, law-breaking. Is that your um, implication here? But that's my understanding of the law, that it's illegal to intimidate Supreme Court justices. And, of course, you know, they, they get their leadership from, for example, uh, Democrat leader Schumer. Now, the majority leader Schumer, in March of 2020, he went out and he, th he, he threatened Justice Kavanaugh and Gorsuch. He said that they were creating a whirlwind and, uh, you know, they would unleash... Uh, they wouldn't even know what hit them. Uh, so, Majority Leader Schumer has threatened and done the exact same thing that now these protesters are just following his example. Th this, is how, this is the tactics of the left. It never gets uh, criticized by the media because the media is of the left. Uh, it's reprehensible. It should be condemned. But just like the summer uh, protests of 2020 uh, that turned into riots, uh, 2,000 law enforcement officials injured. Uh, one to two billion dollars of property damage. But you had the sitting vice president of the United States encouraging people to donate to the uh, bail funds of the protesters in Minneapolis. So I guess, I guess protests, riots, violence is okay if it's done by leftists. It's only condemned, it's only prosecuted, it's only investigated if it's done on the right. And Senator Johnson, just one more point. Again, uh, you've investigated many things uh, on Homeland Security. So there's this group that is now going after churches, in particular Catholic churches. A bunch of it happened yesterday on Mother's Day. It's called Rising Up for Abortion Rights. And apparently uh, it's a project of something called RefuseFascism.org. 
But that is connected. It's an offshoot. It's part of the umbrella of the revolutionary Communist Party. Now, if ever there was a need for some misinformation uh, and truth boards, this would be it. I don't know if people understand this, that they're going after Catholic churches as a result of what may or may not be a, a Roe v. Wade decision. All we have is a draft copy from Mr. Alito, draft uh, 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 copy. But this is part of the Communist Party. What do you make of that? Well, again, Larry, you have such bias in the media. We, you know, we have so very few journalists nowadays. They're primarily advocates for the radical left. And so they just look the other way. As I said, you take a look at the, the, the protests, the, the riots in the summer in Kenosha. Three nights of protesting, I don't, you know, dozens of, of buildings burned, and the media just pretty well shrugged at that and walked away. And the story was all Kyle Rittenhouse. Uh, the problem is, is you have that biased media, and the only riots that they're concerned about, uh, the only protests are the few, the very few that occur from right-wing groups, and they completely ignore all the violence, all the riots. Uh, that occur from left wing. I, I guess I guess in their mind those are righteous protests. Mm. And of course that's only the case with the White House who just want to look the other way and say, well they're peaceful protests. Well they're peaceful until all of a sudden someone gets hurt or buildings get destroyed. Yeah, well they're peaceful until they're not peaceful, which is how all that started last summer, but two summers ago in particular with Black Lives Matter and uh, Antifa. I mean I'm just I'm just um, I think Biden should be a shame center, not providing more security right now, even across the board, but certainly for the justices, as you just said, going after somehow picketing, protesting a uh, federal judge is illegal. So his whole position is um, is wrong. I mean, it's a shameful position. Last one, sir, on this. So there's uh, Chuck Schumer, Majority Leader Schumer, says there's going to be a vote. Uh, this coming week um, to codify Roe v. Wade. Um, how in the world is he going to do that? Nobody's going to give up on the filibuster. What do you make of this vote? Well, it just shows their extreme position. I mean, Democrats actually want to allow abortion to the moment of birth. That is an extreme position. That is not where the American people are. Uh, you take a look at the laws passed through a democratic, more democratic process in Europe, far more restrictive of re abortions than what we have here in, this, in the country right now. So again, that is, that is where the Democrats are. They are the radical, they are the extreme end of, the, uh, of this whole abortion issue. Do you think this kind of Senate vote is going any place or is this just a, no. a show thing, political show thing? Now, Larry, there, there is no national consensus on this. That's why it should be decided by the people in the states on a state-by-state -state basis. We're going to see a variety of different outcomes through the states, and that's the way this should be decided. This is a profound moral issue, as uh, Judge Alito said in his decision. It is. That's why it needs discussion. It never should have been short-circuited short by nine unelected ju justices. Now it's going to actually go through the process, the democratic process, and we'll resolve this issue hopefully once and for all. Yes, sir. Save America. Save America's children. Many thanks, Senator Ron Johnson. We appreciate it, sir.